Hello, good morning. It's September 2021. I'm just doing a quick YouTube video with regards to the uses of red cabbage. Now, if you actually go onto my YouTube page, I have actually done a few videos with regards to red cabbage and their uses. Now, with it coming up to autumn and winter, a lot of people are going to be looking at possibly eating and purchasing seasonal fruit and vegetables. Obviously, because of the slight changes in the economy, there may be variations in every retail outlet that obviously sells and provides food as to what may or may not be available at this time of year. But hopefully, as I seem to already have three in the house, cabbage is something that is classed still as a seasonal root vegetable. It's part of the brassicate family. And at this time of the year, it's the sorts of food that people may consider eating. Now, when cooking it, it doesn't smell that great. So I would advise possibly opening a window. Also, with cabbage, there are a number of different ones you can buy on the market. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more sweeter and can be used in a variety of ways, red cabbage is something you could possibly consider using. Now, I've put this in a slow cooker so that I can also use the red cabbage water, which I will explain the uses of that at a later date. I've also done a few videos previously, so please look out for those. The other thing that I just want to quickly mention is COVID-19. Yes, it's the big elephant in the room. We can't get away from it. It's here and it's here to stay by the looks of it. So again, for people who are obviously looking at ways of boosting their immune systems, who may or may not have already had any vaccines or are considering additional vaccines, please, please, please remember that the vaccine is a prevention. It is not a cure to COVID. So again, prevention is better than a cure. So think about your diet, think about your exercise, think about your lifestyle choices. Now, I recently went into a local pharmacist and there must have been two to three people in there asking for what they call immune boosters. Now, believe me, there's going to be a lot of adverts about immune boosters coming up on the news and on the TV and in any that you watch on social media over the next couple of weeks. One of the most common ones that people are advised to take is something like echinacea and also elderberry syrup. Now, if you know how to make elderberry syrup, it is pretty simple to make. So go out there when you see any elderberries in the, in the wild, make your own. I mean, a lot of these immune boosters that people buy, a lot of them are homeopathy related, but you could be paying within the region of £20 for what is classed as an immune booster. If for the sake of just buying a bag of sugar and picking your own elderberries, think how much money you could save by doing that yourself. But obviously, do your research. I would say research, research, research is important. If in doubt, don't do it yourself. Go out and buy it. But again, alternatively, look at winter and seasonal veg. There's so much information on social media now, and it's basically sorting out the wheat from the chaff to find out what's going to work, what isn't going to work. Not everything is going to be ideal for everybody. Again, you know, people have recommended turmeric, but if you've got something like gallstones, which is something I had several years ago, Timeric would not be advisable to take. So please do your research. But if you're happy to pay around £20 for an immune booster, fine. But then alternatively, look at what's out there at the moment. Look at your winter veg. Look at your autumn veg. Look at your seasonal veg. The, one of the reasons a lot of these fruit and veg grow at the time of year they grow is also in a way of an indication of the type of foods that you possibly should consider to be eating at that time of year in order to have a healthy and balanced lifestyle. So again, I will continue to do some videos on red cabbage, but please feel free to 
watch any of my YouTube clips that I do put on there. I will also try to put additional links of information about the pros and cons of using this item. But what I have found personally is that by including red cabbage into my diet at least once a week, it has actually helped me feel a lot more healthier. So please, please, please do your research. That's the only thing I can recommend and try and stay safe this winter. Thank you.